It is a bright morning in Ruindal. Or it would be, were it not for, you know, rain. The dilapidated ruins are soaked from stone to dirt, from leaf to root of the overgrowth. The throne room, having a giant hole in the ceiling, is not safe from the deluge. The only part of the ruins that are safe from the rain are the entrance hallways and a few other nooks and crannies that serve good cover for maybe a small rat. Not so much a six-foot-tall toon, uh, who's, I guess he's wearing a hood. That's good enough cover, I suppose, but... The Antlered King stands just at the edge of the main hallway that faces into the throne room. He stares up at the pouring rain, then to the cracked stones that make up the walls and floor, the vines and roots that have taken home in said cracks. It has been several days since he has chosen this ruin to be his new castle. It is by no means perfect and far from being his first choice, a list which already is not a very big one. But currently, to his slight annoyance, it is all he has to work with. And there is much work to do. So with a husk of a sigh, the Antlered King turns away from the pitiful excuse of a throne room and reaches into his sleeves and pulls out a speaking stone adorned with wire and sigils. He stares at the device a moment before he presses on one of the sigils which light up instantly. There is a pause of silence before he speaks into the stone. This is your king. Come to the throne room. We have work to do. And will all three of my players from top to bottom introduce themselves and their characters, as well as wherever they are at the time of receiving this message over their standy speakies? Uh, I am my character. I'm Cranky. Uh, my character is Colin Blank, uh, a very small crow uh, with a trench coat and hat. Uh, and... Uh, where, where, where would he be? Um... <laughs> I... Like, I, I, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> well, let's... Well, let's say for the... Well, in the, la in the last game, he was... He was in Little Corner looking for a missing dog, correct? Yeah. Let's... And... Which I imagine didn't go very well, but let's but let's say for the sake of convenience that he is back in Little Corner, still yeah. trying to search for said dog, but having yeah. no such luck. Yeah. Thank, thank you, people. <laughs> <laughs> no, no problem. I prepared. Uh, and uh, uh we're uh, Abby. Uh, hi, it's me, Abby, or or some sessions, or whatever the name, nickname, Albert. full name, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, today I will be playing Ruby Red, little real kind kid. And where would she be? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. She has been taking to exploring the ruins whenever she can, so she's probably like maybe a couple rooms over. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> she's, like checking out all the old stuff. <laughs> so possibly not even. So possibly not even that far. Because arguably the current spaces uh, Ruby would have uh, would have explored aren't too far from the main hallway, so it's very possible that not only would you hear uh, his voice over the over the speaking stone, but you would also hear it coming down from the hallway. Hmm. True, but it's like it. The thing about the speaking stone is that Ruby doesn't really carry it, carry it because she can't talk at all. So it's actually Oliver who gets the message. Oh, okay. <laughs> Because he wears it around his neck, because he's the one who can talk into it. So, well, yeah. <laughs> well, Oliver is now informed. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, my... yeah Oliver is going to inform Ruby, because, yeah. <laughs> very good, very good. And will my last player introduce themselves? Uh, hi, my name is Magic. I am playing this very small rat man known as Duster. Uh, I want to say... Uh... From the last FPS, Duster's been practicing his common as well as he can while being, you know, short. Uh, I think you'd be, like, sitting by that, the river from the FPS that, uh, me and Fable had. Yeah. You'd just kind of be, like, looking over his little sheet. Oh, he's got a little space, got a little space for himself. All right, yeah. uh, and I do want to actually, as a side note for you, Duster, because I know that the the speaking stones are basically almost your size. Uh, yeah. In be in between games, Antler Antler has has taken it upon himself to actually use a uh, to use a uh, shrinking spell in order to shrink it down, so it is so it is more easy for you to handle. 
I'd imagine like it's the size of like one of those big like clunky phones for him. <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah. clunk yeah, it's clunky phone size for you now. But it's it's much better than than where it was when it was over half your height, over half your height. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> much yeah. more easier to carry now. I was wondering how he's gonna carry it around. Yep. Uh, but you but uh, on the on this rain on this rainy day uh, in this in this in ruined all in ruined all you all receive this call call from Antler and you all. All, however you wish to, or whatever pace you wish to go, you eventually make your way to the main hall, hallway where Antler is waiting for you. Uh, Under the rain? Huh? Oh, uh, wait, main hall, that's... Yeah, ma main yeah. hall is not the throne room. No, yeah. not in the throne room. Antler is actually standing no. uh, just outside the throne room, just out of the rain. <laughs> uh, he is he is not wet. Uh, he, he got... <laughs> as soon as the rain started, he went to the hallway. <laughs> Wouldn't Duster have to cross across the throne room to get to the hallway? Uh, yes, he would. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he he crosses like the throne room area and just at the other end, just kind of like shakes himself off because it's wet. I'm about I'm about Ruby. <laughs> I think hilariously. Even though Ruby is the closest, she's the one who takes the longest to get there. <laughs> even longer than Colin. Because she goes Colin? at her own pecking pace. Yeah, even longer than Colin. She Wait, probably just stays in the other room stubbornly, Wait, <laughs> just doing I... her own thing until she feels I, like I, it. I just, <laughs> just want to roll survival to see how well, how quickly Colin finds his way back. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Is is. <laughs> Just because I think it's really funny, okay? Is this not going to be the first person who shows up and Antler's just going to be stuck waiting in silence? Oh, that's a 17. <laughs> that's actually not terrible. Okay, so he does show up before Ruby. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you, you... Hello! Hi! Ruby shows up when she feels like it. <laughs> uh, Ant Antler does not... I, I imagine Colin is, like, dripping wet. Cause Aww. like, from little corner to the ruins, rain. Yeah. 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 Uh, Ant Ant Antler, Antler, uh, gives you a brief look over Colin, and then to, and then to Duster as well. Uh, for something. Hmm. Where is the third one? <laughs> and then Ruby shows up. <laughs> uh, the little squeaking of her rubber boots. <laughs> I expect you to make much more haste next time when I call you. Now then. As you are all aware, I tend to make this these ruins my ca my new castle. However, it is as it stands, these ruins are in no condition to house the center of my kingdom. It is stating the obvious in saying these walls would need much mending before they are fit to be that of a castle. So, we have work to do. I will be going to, going to the town to find whatever counts as a builder these days and bring them here to have a look at what specifically needs fixing. In the meantime, you three will make this place ready for their arrival. And he gestures to much of the overgrowth that has that has taken over the the walls and some of the floor, uh, and he just he gestures with his with his staff. The they will likely need access to the walls and structure, which means having this unruly vegetation removed. I do not care how it is done, so long as it is done. And then he gestures, uh, and then he gestures back towards the hallway uh, to the left where the. Sorry, it would be his right, facing towards the front, facing towards the main entrance. Uh, back to where the, uh, back to where the sprung traps uh, are still there. They're sprung and they are completely harmless, but they are still there. The last thing we need is for them to potentially fall into any traps still left here. From what I have seen of you three so far, you seem to possess a proclivity for finding danger. So you should have no trouble finding the rest. Any questions? 
Can I have a lot of... <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> Ruby just reaches into her picnic basket and pulls out a rope. Just and just has the, like an expression of I got one. <laughs> great, great. Give me one sec. I'm just gonna roll something for Antler. <laughs> this is already. I will say, Duster has a very careful blank look on his face. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh... Uh, yep, uh, hey, Colin, uh, Antler looks at you. Colin looks at Antler. <laughs> Stunningly, you have made such intelligible questions that I think you should save any others for later. And, uh, Colin, I would like you to make a... Oh, where is it? Oh, make a wisdom saving throw for me, please. Okay. Um, 13. Nope. That doesn't do it. Uh, Antler has just cast its suggestion on you, Colin, <laughs> to shut you up. Well, good, because Colin is going to, like, be collecting questions for Antler for later. Oh, oh no. That'll be, that'll be a few, that'll be for future problems, but if, if, no one has any other questions for him. He will start to make. He will start to silently make his way uh, down the hallway to the front entrance and head towards Little Corner. Um, I will say, as soon as Antler is out of earshot, he'll turn to the Duster is gonna turn to the others and go. So what are we supposed to be doing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think Ruby just starts signing an explanation of. I think he wants us to clean the place up. Make sure there's nothing dangerous around and whatnot. <laughs> uh, remove vegetation. I wonder if you can eat the vegetation. <laughs> uh, Is he going to try? <laughs> oh, he doesn't see anything that looks like a vegetable. Yeah, roll roll perception for me to, to just be sure. <laughs> Give me a second. Give me a second. Um, yes. Eight. Uh, eight perception. Uh, as, as far as you can tell, the the walls are covered. Uh, at least in this hallway, are covered mostly in roots and vines. Uh, some of which are sprouting a good amount of le leaves, but not a lot. It is nothing. Nothing as far as you can tell looks like it is an edible fruit or vegetable growing. Shame. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad. It's too bad. Shame. But yeah, you have. But yeah, you have now been left with. Uh, you've now been left in the ruins, uh, with what is basically cleaning duty. Oh no! Oh boy! <laughs> how would you like? Uh, I how... think. I think the first thing Ruby's gonna do is try to find like the deepest clump of vegetation, like the deepest, biggest, thickest. That's the word. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I think initially Colin's gonna pit a pat it after her. Okay, dokie. Yes, good. <laughs> uh, and what it, and what will uh, uh, is Duster following? Uh, that we've. I did a roll a while back. Duster doesn't see anything wrong with the vegetation, at all. <clears throat> and so. Uh, he's just gonna go look for traps, because he has no idea what Ruby is doing. Okay, so... Oh, no, boy. So, so really quick, uh, regarding the throne room, just some something, uh, I really want to do. Uh, I'm just gonna... Okay, uh... I don't know why I rolled anything. I don't know why I rolled anything, to be honest. He can probably just <laughs> go ahead and do it, because... Thing is, the throne is very... 
it is very damp right now. It is very rained on. It is very sad. It's it's, it's a it's a little it's a little soggy. It's a little soggy. A little bit. Just a teeny bit. <laughs> and uh, even though Colin does not have any umbrellas in his inventory, but uh, can I can I just say that he has For like little... through tune logic, through tune logic. Right now he has yes. like the most yes. obnoxiously colored. Uh, <laughs> Orange and purple polka dot umbrella. Yeah. Yes, yes, you may. <laughs> Listen, I'm not one to deny rule of funny, and this is very much rule of funny. He's going yes. to take the obnoxious polka dot umbrella, and he's going to uh, affix it to the throne. Lovely. Just tie it there with a uh, rope. And I'm sorry, what what's the print on this umbrella? It is... Uh, Orange with bright purple spots. Oh, love that's that's lovely. That is lovely. Yes. Good. <laughs> Okie dokie. So Ruby, so Ruby and Colin are are off to to find where uh, the main bit of growth vegetation. Uh, Duster, you have gone off on your own to search for any more traps. Uh, so yeah. this, all right. So this is where I ask you to make some rolls. Cause, that, Cause this is D and D, and we gotta D &D. do rolls. So I would like you all to roll survival, if you don't mind. Survival. Yeah. Oh no. Can I argue investigation, please, please? <laughs> for you, since you are specifically looking for something. <sighs> okay, yeah. You can, you can, <laughs> you can make the argument for invest. How bad is your survival? Uh, it's, it's not super bad, but. <laughs> My investigation is better. <laughs> Actually, I can look at your that survival. That said, I got a garbage roll. <laughs> Same. Yeah, you did. And, uh, did, wait, did Colin roll? Yeah, he got a nine. Oh, nine, oh, eleven, boy. twelve, this is not... Well, I could say, uh, Ruby, you get as far as... Hold on, let me go ahead and put up... Let me go ahead and put up on the, on the server the, uh... The little map that that uh, you said Ruby would have been making beforehand. Uh, uh, you get as far as the room that that Antler has has uh, picked out for himself. Mm -hmm. uh, there are there are also stairs leading upwards uh, that are currently blocked by most of the vegetation, so you can't actually you haven't been able to actually get up there yet. Uh, so at the moment, it is just the the throne room, Antler's room. Uh, and Antler's room right now is pretty barren at the moment. It, it, it's really just, it looks like just a carved out space. Uh, nothing has really been added. There are maybe, there's maybe a, a chest, a chest, uh, maybe like a small, small makeshift shelf with, uh, with a book or two. And that's about it at the moment. Mm. Mm. Uh, as for Duster, you are going to, uh, you, your search leads you to the, uh, from the entrance hallway, you go left towards, uh, towards where the spike trap is. Or one of the spike traps, the, the pitfall spike trap, as it were. And that is where you are currently at the moment. Uh, since, uh, since that pitfall trap has been, uh, uh, sprung, a wooden board, which was a very rare find, uh, Considering most of the wood in this place has been, you know, dilapidated and rotten, but this one was in good enough shape to to make as a makeshift uh, little bridge over the sp over the pitfall trap. Yes, good. So that is where that is where y'all are at the moment. What would y'all like to do now that y'all here? Well, I know exactly what Ruby's gonna do. Um, oh boy. <laughs> what's Ruby? Uh, what's Ruby gonna do? Do tell. Oh gosh. I think, like, Ruby's, like, looking up at the stairs that are just covered in vines and, like, blocked by ve vegetation and whatnot. And, oh boy, she gets a glint in her eye. And <laughs> Oliver, who's standing next to her, is like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and what Oliver's gonna do is make sure nobody's close to it. <laughs> is, is he, like, pushing Colin away? <laughs> Yes, yes he is. He's just very carefully like, all oh, right, we are not being near this when this happens. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, okay. 
And uh, Ruby is gonna rub her hands together in front of this big pile of plant. And uh, she's gonna stretch out her arms and cast Burning Hands. Alright. Burning Hands. Let me look up at the... Go ahead and make a roll for the burning hands. It won't be a high thing, but it's D&D, so you gotta well, It's a dexterity saving throw, it looks like. So. Dexterity saving throw for vines. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yes. I totally. don't think they can. <laughs> yes, because... No, unless they're sentient, but... <laughs> vines absolutely have a modifier for fucking... Against burning hands. Of course they do. What are you talking about? I mean, I could roll to see how effectively Ruby is doing it. <laughs> I rolled a 19 on a saving throw! Um, Ruby, Ruby, these vines are currently drenched from the rain. From the rain. Uh, this covered staircase is part of the throne room, so it is not safe from the, from the downpour currently. And you, and since you are facing, uh, said, said stairway, in order to face the stairway, you'd actually have to be in the rain yourself. So you're attempting to yep. cast fire while you are drenched in rain. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. The vines have not caught fire. Ruby is looking at this like, hmm. And then she, she's gonna rub her hands again, and she's gonna cast burning hands again at second level. <laughs> at second level, uh, does that cha does that change what kind of uh, save I gotta make? Nope, but it uh, makes it do more damage. <laughs> Uh, for the set, I'm gonna say that uh, story wise. Okay, yeah, that 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 actually works. The dice were nice and make it work out. Um, uh, at the first when you cast it at first, all you got was a little as the as the rain kind of just you know could put could put the the first burning hands fire. Uh, but then uh, not not satisfied with that result, you rub your hands together and build up enough and build up more energy and whoosh. The, you send out a burning cataclysm. Oh, I wouldn't want to say. I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit because I can. Uh, cataclysmic fire on these vines, and you hear the sizzling of the water on, on them as they burn away. Just <laughs> as these as these vines burn away to a crisp. Uh, and now these and now, uh, congratulations. The stairway is now open to you. Uh, Colin, like, uh, gives, like, a little round of applause with a little whoop. Because, <laughs> like, hey, that was impressive. That was cool. And while that... And while that's happening, actually, Colin, could you make a perception check for me? Okay. 20 plus 2. 21. Oh, wow. Nice. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh. Uh, as, as Ruby, as Ruby is finishing up with her fire, with her, her burning hands, as, uh, as you watch the vines are burning away, you see, you see a few that are curling back into the rocks and disappearing from sight. Oh. Huh. Hey, I was joking about them being sentient fables! <laughs> oh, no! I know. Can? I'm, I, uh, can I, uh roll to like try and nab one before it gets away uh roll me um i think that would be a dexter i want to say that's dexterity or well dexterity to catch it at least yeah yeah go ahead and roll me dexterity oh, my cat has returned to my desk uh 11 oh, I... 11 colin you go for you uh you you try and uh, get as close as you can to it, but before you can even get to the wall itself, the the uh, the escaping vines uh, manage to to escape your grasp. Apologies, but you, you... <laughs> like peeks into like the the hole where it vanished, like disappointedly. It's like <laughs> bird sees worm, worm got away. Yep, and nothing and nothing but pitch dark blackness uh, stares back at you. Uh, and while, and while, uh, and now I'm going to do a little cutaway to, to Duster. Duster! How you doing? How you doing? Hi, uh, Duster, Duster is looking at this bridge. He, I will say, he still does not trust the, the bridges in these places because the last bridge he tried to cross was rickety, and he did not do so. 
and he still has that climbing speed, so he's just he gonna go over does. the wall again. Why do I keep forgetting that this <laughs> rat can climb? <laughs> well, it's fine. I didn't actually. I didn't actually do anything. To... It's fine. Dustin does not trust these wooden bridges. The wood in this place has not been climb. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> All right. I have a climb speed. I'm gonna use it. You know what? That's you know what? Yeah, that's 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 fine. However, you wish to to go over uh, go over. Uh, in that case, though, I'm gonna yeah. ask I'm gonna ask you as you are climbing. I would like you to make a perception check. Perception. What is my perception? What is your perception? Uh, that oh. is plus four. Ah, oh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. What the fuck? Nice. What's what the fuck? Nice. What's what the fuck? High rolls. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Duster, as you, uh, as you're climbing, these, these walls are very much, uh, they're not, they're not in great shape. There's a lot of places where stone has fallen away, uh, so there's some parts where you kind of have to, uh, you have to go around some holes in the walls, uh, but as you are making your way to the opposite, opposite wall, you see, uh, I mean, you, again, it's the same farther down the hall. There are just holes in the walls where stone has fallen through, but there is one it's weird. You see a weird glint from one of the holes in the walls, and it, it, this thin little glint of string, goes from one hole in the wall to the other side, right near the floor. Ooh. Oh, that's a tripwire trap. Trap uh, detected. Okay. Um, Duster. Duster's going to go onto the floor, like by. Where, by where the spike trap was, and can I just say I pull a random object out of hammer space, or should I like? Uh, go ahead and roll. Back, like... Uh, go ahead and roll d10 just to see if it's not a fumble. Yeah. yeah. Ten. Yeah. Right. Pull whatever you like. Um, he pulls like just like a pin, and he's just gonna throw it at the tripwire trap to see if he can activate it uh, without being near it. Is he... Which side... Which, uh, which side of the wire is he on? The one... The the side that is facing the pitfall trap or the one that is uh, facing... Tw that is uh, going farther He's into the... He's on the side of the pitfall trap. Of the pitfall trap. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and do that. Alright, should I roll something? Just to, uh, like, toss it? Oh, uh, yeah. Roll, roll me... Uh, ro just roll me a straight... Yeah, just roll me uh, another just straight dexterity again. Just a dex, just a... That's an 11. 11. That, that's, that's an... This is a tripwire, and you're throwing a pin on pin on it. Yeah. I, I've got to say, it's, it's... 11 is enough that you toss the... That you toss the pin on and it tri and it uh it hits the it hits the thin little uh little wire and however an eleven does not prepare you for just how uh how strong of reaction this this trap has as you see a uh, spot as you see a a part of the the wall in front of you suddenly go ping <laughs> with spikes oh. And they come out with, and you are so small, Duster, and it is, and they come out with such a force that you are shook a little bit. That makes you take a couple steps back from how, like, just, whoa. Yeah. Uh. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, boy. This is not fun. This is not fun. Nope. Nope. Uh, and make a, uh, actually, no, I'll just give this to you. Uh, and as, as you, just for flavor, I guess, uh, as it goes, whoosh, you hear, you hear it echo down further into the hall, into the hallways, it goes, whoosh, 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 whoosh. and then you hear, then you hear a, dong, further down. Uh, well, that isn't concerning. It's not, it's not, con <laughs> not concerning at all, don't worry about it. I'm scared. What are we activating? What ancient evils are we destroying? <laughs> and we're and we're gonna hop back over to Colin and Ruby. You guys, oh boy! You guys have just have just went past your first puzzle, and you are now in uh 
and you are now up the stairs in what is kind of the second floor of the of the ruins. Uh, I'm gonna say for this one, make an insight check. Uh, insight. Okay, insight. How much you want to say, Cranky? Uh, give me Nine. Ruby, why? Twenty-three. Wow, Colin. Colin, thank look at you, you buddy. <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, Ruby, as far as you can tell, it is just another carved out room that is just, uh, it is as dreary and dilapidated as the rest of the castle. Call, uh, but is Colin. Is it like dark inside or is it freaking? It's a little, it's, it's a little dark, but there is, but since you've cleared out the vines, there is light coming in from, uh. <laughs> also, maybe there's like smoldering vine remains. <laughs> Yeah, there. You know what? Yeah, there's probably yeah, a couple of smoldering vines that that lends a little bit a little bit more light into the into this room. Uh, it's a it's a decently sized room, uh, but Colin, from what you can see, uh, again, it is very dilapidated. It is just not in great shape at all. But from what you can see, you see the hints of carved out shelves into the walls, uh, places and places where you think uh, tables and chairs might have been, and as well as just bits of a uh, bits of scrolls and maybe one or two books lying around that look pretty they don't look great they they look on the verge of if you picked these up they would turn to dust kind of kind of thing uh so colin as best as you could guess this might have been a library at some point dusty <laughs> <laughs> Colin forward this information at all? Uh, well, I guess, like, he's, well, what, what, what's he supposed to say? Like, wow, this was, I mean, yeah, it was like, that's a bunch of books. Yes! <laughs> I think, like, Ruby, like, looks down at Colin before looking back inside the room, uh, and she's gonna pull out just a rock from her picnic basket and cast light on it so that she can see a little better. <laughs> she is just a human. She cannot see very well in the darkness. Oh, cut me to call him. Good. Just... Now they can both see. <laughs> there is light now. <laughs> nice. Let there be light. Well, nice. As Let you there be light. as you bring out the 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 stone of light, it lends it the light lends itself to allow you to see the the darker corners of the room and the places where uh, where, sha where natural shadows of the place have just fallen. Uh, there is Ruby. This allows you to see. Uh, this allows you to see two doors on opposite sides of the room. One on the left. One on the right. Or I should say doorways. Anything that's a door has long since rot. Has long since rotten. <laughs> oh boy, Ruby. You will. Meanwhile, very excited. <laughs> Colin's like first. Time. Colin's like first thought about this is, oh my gosh, what if there's like a secret door, like book activated passageway? Oh my god! That's a great thought, Colin. Hey, how about you make an investigation check and see if you find that book? <laughs> <laughs> it destroys so many books, but it probably doesn't matter too much, considering the not... <laughs> Oh, wow! 19! 19, 19! Colin, with with a grace that often eludes you, uh, <laughs> you, man you manage to very carefully pick up, uh, uh, pick out, or pluck out the, the different books uh, that are left on the shelves. These books are not in great condition, but, um, and as you go... Uh, as you're going, going, this book, no, this book, no, that book, oh, that turned to ash in your hands, okay. Uh, uh, it's not until, uh, ironically, until you reach the very last book, you hear a little click, and you hear a, a, li a little swing and a clack behind you. And Ruby, since you have the light, uh, in the middle of the floor, a small trap door has just opened up. I, I like to think that as, like, Colin's been tossing the books behind him, Ruby's been, like, gathering them because, ooh, books, learning things. <laughs> and, like, the moment she sees that the trap door open, she's just, she just points to it, like, oh! <laughs> Without making any noise. But, <laughs> but 
But like she's like looking at Colin and then looking back at the trap door. Colin, <laughs> Colin is like triumphant, and he's just like he's just got like his little fists over his head. <laughs> uh, okay, investigation time. He's gonna investigate the heck out of the trap door. <laughs> Ruby's not. She's going right for it. <laughs> oh well, that I thought that yeah no I I I meant like. Sorry, piss, like, yeah, going going through the trap door, looking through it. Oh, yeah, Trying to open it in the first place. Is yeah, it well, open? It is, it, yes, it is, it is open now. It is swung open, and, uh, and there's pitch blackness below, but Ruby with, uh, is Ruby going just straight in, or are they taking a moment to look? Uh, hmm. Well, you see, this is the excitement of exploring, and Ruby is a child. I don't think she'd think to... She doesn't have the wisdom to think, hey, maybe I should look first before entering. Cool, cool. <laughs> uh, Ruby, make me a de- Ruby, make me a deck save. Colin, make me a perception. Oh, oh boy! To be, to be honest, to be honest, as soon as Colin sees Ruby just go ahead, Colin's also just gonna go ahead. In that oh, case, no. Colin, make a dex. Make a dex save, both of you. <laughs> oh, I got a 12. 12. Oh, 20! Uh, uh Ru- hubris. Ruby, you was having a great day. Ruby, <laughs> you are a child, and for some reason, you think walking into walking into a trap door in the floor is on a sec on the second story floor is a good idea. Uh, you you go in foot first, and you feel nothing beneath your feet. You feel nothing hey, beneath your feet. Ruby has feather fall. <laughs> Which, as soon as she starts to drop, she's gonna cast. <laughs> Colin just lands on top of her. Uh, Colin, just what actually on top of her head? You know what? You know what? Yeah, freaking, that's funny. I like that. <laughs> like he drops like a very short amount, and then he's just like and you're standing just... on top of Ruby. You're just floating down softly down to the floor, and Ruby, with your little light stone, you uh, it's not it's not until you reach the bottom that you notice the the ladder that leads from the trap door. <laughs> To the type to the <laughs> miniature hallway you are now in. Uh, I think like once they float down to the ground, Ruby point gestures to the ladder like, "Hey, we found your ladder!" <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Ruby, as you as you hit the ground, Ruby, you feel uh, you feel a weird wriggling beneath your boots. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that's not cool. Oh, oh no. that's, that's where the vines went, I guess. Oh boy. Where's Gosh. Oliver, by the way? Is Oliver hey. just stuck? Yeah, where is Oliver? What's he doing? Oliver is just like looking down in the hole from above because he's got hooves. He's got hooves. Awesome. Hey, all. Ol- hey, Oliver. Make a perception check for me, buddy. Oh boy. <laughs> and Oliver and Oliver gets advantage because he has he has sight from above. You got a nat one? Come on, Oliver. 14. Okay. That's much better. That's better. From where Oliver is standing, uh, I imagine he had a brief panic moment of seeing Ruby drop down. Uh, and then he, yeah. se- then he sees, then Oliver sees them at the bottom, all fine and dandy, and takes a breath. But then as he sees the light from Ruby's stone illuminate the small hallway, he sees, he sees va- the walls, which are covered, completely covered with vines that are wriggling beneath Ruby and Colin. And Ruby- Oh boy! Hey, Oliver seeing this is just like, uh, Miss Ruby, you might want to come back up! <laughs> yeah, do you want to make a- Uh, Ruby, with that fail- That failed deck save that you made, you suddenly feel vines wrap around your arms and your legs, and and suddenly you are getting yanked down this little hallway. Colin, you oh, ro- you rolled a very you rolled a very good deck save, so you just ma- so and you were on top of Ruby's head, so you managed to avoid the vines and grab onto the ladder uh, that's beside you. Oh boy! And Ruby, it's you are Ruby now. Could scream, she would, but hey, uh, mute. <laughs> yeah, Ruby, you are now getting dragged down the hallway with Oliver and Colin watching in abject horror. Oh boy, Oliver is just like sort of squeal and is. Running off to find Duster. <laughs> find Duster. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Uh, oh boy. I think we'll go to Duster oh. in just a moment. What's Colin doing? 
at the moment, Colin is like, uh, well, yeah, he like automatically kind of clung to the ladder, and now he's just stuck on the ladder, like, and, well, Ruby is being dragged away, and he can't have that happen, but, uh, he doesn't know what to do, so, uh, he's just going to, uh, try to, like, shoot his crossbow at it, at the vines. I don't know where he's aiming, but, like, not, Tell like, pro probably, like, right next to Ruby. Oh, okay. gosh. Okay, roll to roll well, low. <laughs> roll to roll to hit my dude. Uh okay, so that is uh plus six plus uh prof okay, plus six. Uh and would you uh what was that oh my gosh, what was that uh thing with rogues where uh if like an enemy is preoccupied with something uh, oh, uh like flanking? Yeah. I like, they're getting advantage on flanking. But I, yes. the problem is, Ruby's being tangled up. Okay, <laughs> okay. Exactly I, I, I was just like, what, 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 if, what if advantage? But no. Uh, anyway, point is, uh, that is a d20 plus 6. Sneak, sneak attack. Yeah, uh, sneak, yeah. sneak attack. Oh, you advantage on another enemy creature is within 5 feet. sneak attack? Uh... Hmm. For, I will, I will allow it for this one, since you are not the main, uh... You are not the the main offender that the vines have their focus on, since it's currently on Ruby and dragging her yeah, down. So, uh, I mean, Ruby was so... the one who set them on fire. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, so I will say a four. So I will say a fourteen does do it. Uh, Colin, you manage to shoot. Uh, you manage to shoot at one of the vines that is wrapped around Ruby's arm. One of Ruby's arms. Nice. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, uh, boy, oh Ruby, right. what damage, can you do? Damage. Uh, so that is uh, 1d8 plus 4. Yeah, go ahead and roll it. Plus 4. Not, nine. So you're... Uh, the, the, again, these are vines. These are vines. Yeah, these, these are vines. I'm not, I'm not going to make it an incredibly high roll for you to cut through a vine with a... And considering it's an impressive shot to make uh, an arrow in a vine... Uh, Colin, as you are stand as you are hanging from this ladder, you raise up you raise up your crossbow with one feathery hand and take the shot. And it and that arrow goes and slices through the uh the vine that is holding uh Ruby's arm. Ruby, you're you now have a free hand. Okay. Ruby now has a free hand. Uh which is good cuz that means now she can cast this spell. Oh, uh boy. real real quick before you do, uh I'm just going to say real quick for magic, uh uh, so, uh, each, so each, so Oliver is on his way to, to get to you. Uh, so I'm actually, I'm sorry, Abby, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take away from you <laughs> real quick in a, in a, in a dramatic, in a dramatic cutaway to Oliver, to Oliver yeah. running, running, panicking down the hallways, breathing, taking large little piggy breaths as he's trying to the find the, clump of his the little clumpity clump, <laughs> and actually, Duster, make a perception for me, buddy, and it'll be an advantage. <laughs> Just made a perception check. Why am I bad at remembering stuff? Guys, roll again. Fourteen. That does it. Uh, Duster, you hear? Uh, you hear the clumpity clump of of piggy hooves coming towards you. Oh boy! Oliver is just yelling out. Uh, Duster, Duster, we have a problem. Living vines. <laughs> And just as he says that, Duster, as you look at the walls, suddenly the the vines on the walls around you shudder and start to wriggle. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, Duster like squeaks a, like a little bit in panic, and just like darts back across the wall, back across the spike trap. He's going across the wall. With the oh, vines? Yeah, Oliver wouldn't have been able to get across that. Oh no. Uh, oh, no would you? Bridge. Never mind. He would have. I know you have. Now I know you have climbing speed. I would like you to roll me acrobatics. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a five. That's a five. That's a five. That's a five. Uh. 
Uh, Dust Duster, as you are making your way across the wall, while these vines suddenly shoot out to try and and are trying to catch you, uh, and one man and unfortunately with a five, one manages to to smack you off the wall, and you are sent flying, and you uh, hit the uh, you hit the uh, blah, 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 the little wooden bridge that is above the the pitfall trap. Oh gosh. Do I land on top of it, or do I land? Or do I hit its side? Uh, you jet. You just. You you land on top of it, but you skid a little bit and just barely manage to catch the edge. Oh boy. Okay. He's gonna climb on top of that bridge and still make his way across. All right. To go find Oliver. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, Oliver's just kind of like waiting on the other side, but I think like he just starts running running onto the bridge and goes to pick up Duster. <laughs> And put him on his back, <laughs> and then he is hightailing it out of there as soon as he can. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry. Why are the things alive? I don't know, but they are, and this is all this is frightening. <laughs> yep. And as you two are yelling at each other, the vi the vines do this almost like it's almost like multiple snakes just do the as they are suddenly shooting off the wall and going to and going towards you as you are running baking it down the hallway and at, and now we will cut back to Ruby who has had a hand freed how you doing okay. Ruby how you doing oh boy Ruby's having a time oh, I imagine <laughs> I imagine hmm. okay uh Ruby is gonna cast a spell she's gonna cast a primal savagery primal savagery oh boy Oh, remind me this what that. I just looked that one up yesterday. Could you remind me what Primal Savagery does? Don't I... worry, I have it up. Thank okay. you. Channel primal magic to cause your teeth or fingernails to sharpen, ready to deliver a corrosive attack. Ooh. Make a melee spell attack against one creature within five feet of you. On a hit, the target takes 1d8 acid damage. After you make the attack, your teeth or fingernails return to normal. Ooh. Ooh, roll oh, so... Oh, Okay, so visually, uh. <laughs> Ruby has a thing with shadows, and uh, some shadows are coalescing around her hands, and she is using them to scratch at these dang vines. <laughs> Ooh, that's awesome. Uh, which uh, which vines are you going for? Like on your on your other arm, your legs? Uh, other arm first. She other... she needs hands to cast spells. <laughs> okay, uh, I I would like you to roll. Okay, roll to hit, please. So I believe okay. you have to do that for this one. Yes. Yep. Twenty plus seven. I always get I always get surprised oh, about no. which rolls need to be one to hit and a let and eleven. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say you do I'm gonna say you do manage to hit the vine. Unfortunately, though, you are doing it in a blind panic, so you only manage to get maybe a bit of it. So there's still a bit of vine hanging onto your arm. Shoot. Well, I can still do the damage. Can but oh boy, oh boy. Oh yeah, cause it's acid damage. It is ass. Oh, oh my ooh, Ruby. ooh, that's a nine. That is the top of the D ten. Yeah. Uh, for what, from what, uh, from what little damage your uh, even though you are you are kind of scratching in a blind panic, and you only managed to get a bit of the vines. Uh, the acid damage from this attack attack manage. You hear that little tss as it as it is eaten away by the acid of your attack, and suddenly a snap as the vine as your other arm is released from the vine, and now it is just your legs. Uh. But before you can do anything, uh, Colin. Uh, Colin is, uh, and, yeah, you know, he's gonna shoot again, and, uh, yes. So, this time he, uh, okay, yes, uh, 20 plus, yeah, he's just, he's just gonna hit again, uh, he's just gonna shoot again, uh, cause, like, he doesn't know what else. Oh, 18. 18. That does. 18. That does it. That's a good hit. Yeah, and he uh, deals a. Okay, that's one uh, d eight plus four, and actually uh, one d eight plus. Uh, yeah, he gets because sneak attack. Uh, he gets like an extra one d six. Okay. Well, yeah, it's like, yeah, because, like, another enemy of the target's within five feet of, of it, so. Okay, dokie. Okay. Uh, you're aiming for the, you're aiming for the ones uh, by her legs, just reconfirming. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. 
Uh, that is a d6. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't. Wait, give me a second. Let's 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 do this separately because yeah, let's do sep uh, I it doesn't understand. It. Yeah, yeah. Do do the. Do the do the D eight plus four and then roll the D six and we'll just do the math. Yeah. Okay, yeah. it's a five. Five plus two, that is seven damage. Uh so you may so you're uh la, 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 la. you definitely managed to hit the vine hit the vine, uh one of the vines that is holding Ruby's legs. Uh unfortunately a seven does not quite do it. Seven does not quite do it, much like how Ruby's attack had only gotten maybe like a little sliver off the vine. Uh your uh, your arrow just manages to cut a little bit of the vine off. I, also, uh, I imagine, like, he's not doing this quietly. I imagine he's like, ah, watch out, Ruby! <laughs> oh, no. I don't imagine he's doing it quietly either, which is why uh, I would like you to make a roll for me. Oh, I would boy. like you to make a roll for me, please. Could you make Could you make a little deck save for me? Oh, no. A, a, little, a little deck save? Just a little deck save. <laughs> That's 22. That's 22. Man. Way to go, Colin. The heck, man. You're, you are you have been rolling really well today. This is your day, Colin. What is up it with is that? It is Colin's day. It is Colin's day. Uh, okay. Uh, God, I made myself laugh with a dumb joke. I'm not going to say. Uh, blah, 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 blah. With a 22, Colin, you, manage, you hear just in time behind you a little slithering sound. Uh, coming right by your, coming right by your head, and you manage to jump off the la, you manage to jump off the ladder in time, uh, to dodge the vines that suddenly, suddenly, whoosh, try that have just tried to grab you, but you have managed to dodge them. And uh, which which way do you want? Actually, which way do you want to jump? Do you want to jump up or down? I'll let you decide because uh, that's a twenty-two. He's, he's he's gonna jump up at the moment. Okay. Jump up, so you managed to make it. So, uh, with the twenty-two, I'm gonna say if you would like, you managed to make it to the entrance of the of the trap door. Nah, nah. nah you, he's, he's, you're just gonna stay on the ladder. Yeah, ladder is your friend. <laughs> okay, yeah. You 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 do a really cool hop up on the ladder. Maybe even you use you use one of the vines as like a stepping stool in midair as you grab uh, another rung of the ladder up above. <laughs> Imagining him like kind of flapping his arms, even though it doesn't at all help him <laughs> move oh. off. God, I love, I, love, I love Colin. I love Colin so much. Uh, and and I, I'm gonna say for uh, uh, for Duster and Oliver, uh, you would you would have a move in this moment, but I'm gonna say that you are still using up your movement to get over there. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna, Yum. yeah. So I'm gonna move back to Ruby. Ruby, how you doing? Uh, you know, I think Ruby's kind of panicking a little bit, just a little bit. Just a teeny oh, bit. Boy. Yeah. Yeah, there are vines. There are vines on. There are vines dragging you. You by the by the by the by. Uh, you have uh, for each turn that you have been uh have been uh hooked up to these vines, you have been getting dragged farther and farther down the hallway, farther into darkness. Because I imagine when you were grabbed, you lost hold of your light stone, so it remains back towards the ladder and yep. the trap door. Yep. Ruby is not eager to find out where she's being dragged to, because she can only assume vines dragging to place means there's something a lot bigger at the end of said place. Mm. So, <laughs> so <what> yeah. <laughs> so what would she like to do? Well, considering it's more blind panic mode rather than, uh thinky thunk mode she's gonna cast primal savagery again all right oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh. i'm gonna i'm gonna oh no That's i'm gonna go i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and give you advantage <laughs> since you now have both hands free to to do slashy slash okay and you, te right. and you technically have your mouth free too did it matter that's a nine that's a nine yep. Oh, that's a nine. That's hey! a Ruby, you're in a oh, Ruby in a you're, you're in a blind panic. I think instead of actually even of even trying to slash at the vines, you're the the primal rage, the primal savagery claws uh, that you possess are digging into the ground, and you are dragged farther and farther into the into the uh, into it's darkness. Like a 
grinding stone sound as she's like being dragged back. <laughs> yeah, and call and Colin, uh, you and Colin, you watch as Ruby is dragged into darkness until you can no longer see her, uh, as oh, darkness no, and Vi. Uh, and, ju and just as that happens, uh, Oliver and Oliver and Duster have managed to make it to the to the top of the trap door. What the fuck? <laughs> Gosh. We need oh, to go gosh. save Ruby! Where, where's Miss Ruby? And like, Oliver's just like... Like, that way. shifting up there! And he's like, oh gosh. <laughs> Col Colin, Colin hops down from the ladder and grabs the uh, stone if it's still glowing. Mm -hmm. It's definitely and, still glowing. Yeah. And he's gonna, uh, like, impatiently, like, be like, hey, get down here! I d you're gonna have to catch me! I can't exactly climb! <laughs> okay! And Oliver's gonna hop. <laughs> oh my god! Good. Colin! Uh, make a roll to catch Oliver! Is that a... Yeah, that's I'm... just gonna get off and just climb down on his uh, own. I'm just Please gonna... Yeah. I'm just... I'm just gonna call that an athletics check because, uh, like, that's I... like both dexterity and strength, kind of, I, ma I imagine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and Colin's strength is zero, <laughs> but he has a perfect. Oh, no. That's a three! <laughs> Colin! <laughs> Colin, you hold your arms the up towards. Is a pancake! Colin, you hold your arms up to the trapdoor. Like, don't worry, I'll catch you. And this pig belly f just jumps down, belly flops, and overshadows your face, Colin. And for a brief moment, you realize, ah, this may have not been the best idea. And then suddenly, poof, uh, Oliver lands on you, belly flop style, and you are smooshed to the ground. Please one, please take 1d6 of damage from pig flattening. <laughs> What damage? You're okay. You're a tune. Uh, I imagine like for like a... important question. Does Oliver take damage too? No, all of, no. Oliver's landing was cushioned okay. by Colin. Good. Give me a second. Let me show you. I let me show you what Colin looks like for like um, because he springs up. He springs up. As soon as Oliver like rolls off him, and he's gonna march, he's gonna like run over in the direction of uh, where he last saw Ruby vanish. But the thing is, at the moment, my God, please tell me he's a pancake. Please to tell me he's a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> please I'm tell me. For, I'm waiting for my phone to load. Trust me, I drew it like right now. Can, can I take? <laughs> Can I take a gander and say he's basically a pancake with little stick legs that's just... That is, exa that is exactly it. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, it's a flat for folks at home who can't see, who who can't see, Colin has been flattened into a little bird pancake with a with a tiny little beak speaking out and his tiny little bird legs that are just over the stone. This is great. This is great. <laughs> and I'm gonna say you walk you walk you're gonna walk oh And he wobbles a little bit initially. He wobbles a little bit and you manage to get a little ways down the hall down the hallway, uh before you son before you go whoop. Uh, before you pop back into shape. Uh, and as- Oh gosh. <laughs> the whole time, Oliver is apologizing previously. <laughs> no! No time to apologize! We gotta get Ruby! Yep, as you're doing that, uh, and, as, and I'm gonna make you roll for it, but you notice that, uh, as you've been in there in the hallway having a fun little, uh, that fun little time, uh, you've noticed the vines have withdrawn. You are now in just a stone hallway. That's because you know there's plants in the walls. Why the fuck? Why are the plants alive? I don't know. I'm not a. Oh, <laughs> oh he's so worried. Uh, yeah. Do, you... do we roll anything? Like, uh, I'm just gonna suit. Can you I roll have. Perception check? You may roll perception if you'd like. Okay. I think. It is time for Colin's over, like, 
Anyway, I think it is time to call him Looking Glass. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, he gets it, and, like, I'm gonna- can I have him, like, roll in the- like, is there, like- Oh, you know what, Colin doesn't care, he's just gonna, like- Feel- feel free to roll either investigation and, uh, or perception, uh. Yeah, so that is investigation, so that's a, uh, minus one, but that's okay, because he has advantage. Good. It's a 19. Oh, not oh. 20! That's a nat 20! <laughs> that's a nat 20, you don't need it! Uh. Oh my gosh! There uh, you go, <laughs> Duster, you're a bit, you're a bit, fra you're a bit frazzled from, uh, from several things of today, and also you're just an anxious little rat. So, yeah. even with your dark vision, even with your dark vision, you cannot make sense of what the fuck is going on. Uh, but Colin, Colin, as you watch down, as you hold up the light and your magnifying glass, you see the vines. Uh, you see the the last uh, trails of vines uh, disappear into the darkness. He's just booking it with his magnifying glass. <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, you are, uh, yeah, you're book. You are booking it. Uh, it is pretty much a straight. It is a straight shot to uh, uh, to where you are to where you are going, which I will describe in uh, just a minute. Uh, but actually, uh, before I do, this is where we are going to take a small five minute break to get uh, to get water and snack. Done. Nice. Good. I can't believe Ruby got plant napped. <laughs> That's amazing. Perfect. I'm going to Perfect. go. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording, uh, folks. We'll be right back with you in just a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are back to Bruin Doll Rambles, episode renovations. All right. So last we left. So uh, yeah, last we left off. Ruby just got dragged into the darkness. Uh, Colin, you went running after her after yeah. get after getting flattened like a pancake. Uh, oh boy. With Oliver and Duster following behind. Okay, okay. So, uh, oh now, Colin, are you going like full on sprint or are you? Not like sprint, but like hasty. A, a good, a good jog, a good jog. A good jog. Okay. Uh, Oliver sprinting. Oliver's worried. Is he? Is he <laughs> out running? Is he out running, Colin? Possibly. Possibly. Uh, okay. Like I imagine, it's just like okay, okay, like. Yeah, he's just going at a good pace, considering his little bird legs. <laughs> okay, as as you so like, uh, uh, Oliver is absolutely out running, Colin. Okay, okay, oh Oliver, as you are. Wow, with uh, honestly, honestly, if one would think you are actually being brave, Oliver, uh, <laughs> which to my understanding is a is a trait that eludes this pig as well. Uh, Most of the time, but hey, hey, his wizard is in danger. Aww. He's worried. <laughs> uh, fuel, fueled by fueled by the love and concern for your wizard, Oliver. You are dashing down this down this corridor with Colin, not as fast, but still falling behind you just as earnestly, uh, with concern. With Duster atop your head, uh, and as and as you go, uh, you you see a little light at the end of the tunnel, uh, and that actually gives you. That actually allows you to see the the not vines, but vegetation that is growing just at the edge of at the end of this tunnel. Uh, and as you bur and as you burst through, you suddenly feel grass uh, grass beneath your feet. You are surrounded uh, by by tall grass and flowers. Vines are are hanging off on the walls and hanging from up above you. A large crevice in the ceiling that is letting sunlight through. Uh, as well as a bit of rain, though, as you could, though, uh, from what you could tell, the rain is starting to subside, hence allowing the sunlight through. Oh boy. Uh, oh, oh and, uh, Colin, as you follow, uh, follow behind, I would like all three of, I would like all three of these boys to make a, uh, make a perception for me. Perception? Yeah, perception, because I like me my perception checks. Oh boy. Oh, waiting. We're 15. Oh, Zero. Zero. Oh, Oliver. Oliver, why? Are pigs, hey, are pigs colorblind? I don't know. <laughs> well, probably. Possibly. Animals, huh? Yeah, I guess so. it. But, like, Oliver's also a tune. That's true. So. That's true. I kind of want to make the colorblind joke here for a zero. I, I rolled a net 20. 
I, think I know, that's amazing. Maybe, maybe, wait, 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 maybe it's that one, like, it's that thing of, like, uh, Oliver having, like, run through, like, darkness and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, and suddenly oh, having light. Yeah. You know because, what? Like, Oliver Col is Colin, blind. Colin's the one who's with, who was with the light the whole time, and Oliver ran ahead. Yeah, and so. du Duster, you have night vision, so actually, uh... I would say maybe you you would actually have a moment of of bleariness, but uh, you are you are perfectly fine as as uh, you all three exit out of this small hallway and into a a. It is not as big as the library. Library it is not small, but it is not as big as the library. Uh, and you hear running water off to the side as there's a little a tiny little pool or fountain with a little waterfall going going into it. As you have found yourself in a a little garden. A little garden area filled, uh, filled basically from from roof to floor, uh, with with green, with green and flowers. And in the corner, uh, there is a there is a giant tree. I say giant, uh, in that it is it is taking a good a uh, good chunk of that corner, uh, sitting there. And uh, from up above in its branches, you see green cocoons uh, hanging from the branches. Oh. 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 Uh, oh. Ruby, I would like you to make a strength check for me. Oh no, that's okay. Strength, that's fine. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Four. Uh, Ruby is having a bad day. <laughs> yeah, Ruby, you are in complete darkness. Even as you're thrashing around, uh, it's not. You're you're not you're not being much contained. There's a bit of space for you to wiggle, but it is not enough for you to to get out of wherever you are. Uh, as for as for Colin and Duster, with those perception checks, you are able to to look at one of uh, you can see one of those cocoons just slightly shaking. Mm. Mm. And Oliver can't see because he's blind oh, from the no. light. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh no, Ruby. I if... Uh, I don't know if, uh, I'm just gonna, like, roll, uh, can I just roll, what would I do? Anyway, just for Colin to, like, connect the dots that, like... Uh, roll oh, no. me. You can, oh, no. you can either roll, uh, insight or investigation. Uh, let's do insight. 17. 17. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah, you connect yeah. the dots. And the dots connect to, hey, I'm gonna shoot the, like, cocoon down. Oh, cool! Roll, roll oh, to, no. roll to hit. I, so. with, with my nat 20 in perception, is there, like, can I see, like, in the tree if there's anything going on with the tree? Or... Uh, for from what you could t from what you could tell, it looks like a nor normal tree, uh, though you do see the settling of you do see je uh, its roots. As you had just come in, you were just able to notice the roots and vines settling down, uh, and the roots of this tree slowly coming to s to be still. And you can hear just the oddest little creaking of wood coming from from the tree. Hmm. Okay. Almost like almost like a groan. Well, Colin is uh, shooting down the cocoon by like whatever vines it's like holding on to like he's 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 not dumb enough to shoot the cocoon itself but you're shooting what's holding it up yes okay which uh, is that... also not exactly a smart move but like he he caught oliver <laughs> oh gosh he ca oh. Uh, caught being a generous <laughs> term i think uh but with it but with it but with a 12 um with a 12 you're you shoot your arrow and it it does not hit the vines, and instead, uh, with a little, with a resounding thunk, uh, ends up, uh, ends up wedged into the branch, uh, just oh, slightly no. above the cocoon. And, and, uh, Colin, you didn't hear it, but you now very can he clearly hear the groan as the branch, as the branch that has been hit suddenly curls inward a little bit in a way that trees shouldn't be able to do, but it is. I don't think that's a tree. What? And the it looks like a tree. And, <laughs> it's not a tree. <laughs> and suddenly, you you all three of you are sent up a foot in the air for a moment as suddenly roots suddenly boom on the ground and this and the roots raise up 
raise up in the tree with a gro with a creaking groan of wood slowly starts to turn around and you see a face on this tree suddenly stare at you with a frown excuse me uh sir ma'am tree can you put our friend down roll persuasion at disadvantage because you shot it That depends. Yeah. What What do you want to do? I need to know first before I can give the okay. The uh, thing is, uh, Colin's gonna threaten this tree. <laughs> so you're rolling intimidation instead. Yes. <laughs> How does he intend to intimidate this tree? That is, uh, I'm gonna say over four times his height. Actually, way uh, more than four times. This is a fucking tree. <laughs> Yeah, this is a tree and he's just a tiny bird. Yeah. Uh, he has a crossbow and he's like, put, put your limbs where I can see them. <laughs> Roll it is still going to be a disadvantage though because you have angered this tree from shooting it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if, only, if only that would have been hilarious. This tree, loo this tree looms upward, and the the face on its uh, on its trunk, uh, its brow furrows, and it makes another groaning sound. And one of its roots raises up from the ground and is gonna come slamming down towards you. And allow me to roll to hit for just a moment. Oh boy. Does that hit you? Uh, his armor class is 16. Oh no, that meets it, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yep. So, Colin is hit. Cool, you're gonna take for me. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit of damage right there. Oh boy. Wait, Colin, what's oh, your, boy. what's your health? Let me check your health. Uh, right. his current health is 23 okay. uh it was 24 but uh oliver <laughs> okay i'm just gonna hey same health <laughs> i'm gonna i'm just gonna finagle that damage ah. real quick because that's not that's that's way too much for this level why, why is that? <laughs> okay you are going to take eight damage from this root that has come down and slammed you and probably turned you into a pancake again <laughs> yes and uh, and now with that i would like you all to roll initiative Ruby, you're going to have to roll initiative at disadvantage. Yeah, that that makes sense. Oh boy. Because uh, you are, because you are in a cocoon. I get advantage. Wait, uh, minus eight. Roll. What? Hold on. Oh, that's the health. <laughs> are you looking? Uh, uh, I was looking at what Cranky rolled for that. I thought that was Colin's initiative. Oh, initiative, right. Yes, roll initiative, please. Okay, Ruby got a 12. 12, seven, seven, uh, buh, 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 sorry. So, 18, 17, tw and 12, okay, so. Ah! Oh, wait, I need to, I need to roll, what am I doing? I need to roll freaking initiative. What is with me? I'm silly. It, yeah. however, it is a tree, so it's not very fast, so. 13, okay. So it's going to be... Still goes before Ruby. Dust Gosh dang it. Colin. <laughs> tree. Forgot to add my wisdom modifier. Ruby slash Fine. Oliver. Okay. Okay. So Duster, you are the first in this... You are the first in this... Re in, the, in the initiative order. What would you like to do? Uh, cool. Um, hold on. I need to... I should have pulled up spells because I'm gonna do a hunter's mark. Oh. Oh boy. And fire. I need four spells because I don't remember what it does. I am also looking it up. Thank you, thank you, uh, internet, for being so uh, readily available. Hunter's mark. Bonus action: 90 feet. Choose a creature you see within range. Mystically mark until the spell ends. You deal an extra 1d6 damage. 
by a target hits with a weapon attack, and you have a advantage on things to find it. Uh, so, yeah, it just happens. There's no save. Okay, cool. And it is a bonus action, though, so that means you still have you still have your movement and action. Uh, mm. yeah. Uh, Duster's gonna... Duster's gonna pull out his sword. No, and, I... uh... Which just brush like it. Scissor blades, right? <laughs> yeah, it's it's one little scissor br- blade because he doesn't dual wield. No. <laughs> okay, so I you, wish you could. so you are brushing at this tree, and yep. you're gonna what? You're just gonna slash it with your scissor blade? Yep. I'm just gonna <laughs> cut it. Okay, <Okey> dokey. <laughs> Go ahead. And roll. Pr- prune the prune the branches. <laughs> roll, roll for me, please. Um, I don't remember. I am very terrible at combat. I am so sorry. Uh, you are so valid. Combat is confusing. It is your <laughs> it's your short sword, yes? Yeah. Okay, so it's a plus three. So it's going to be a d20 plus three, I believe, if I'm looking at this right. Um, I, th- I think that's one of the things I forgot to fix on it, actually. Because I think it's a finesse weapon. Well, that's, well, that's what handy dandy internet's for. Yeah, it's a it's a finesse weapon, so I'd add my my dex. Finesse. Finesse. Nice. So, so I get to do plus five to hit. Oh, yeah. Tw- oh, not twenty. Not twenty. Not Holy twenty. Crap. Roll me a critical <laughs> hit. Roll me a okay. critical. Roll me a critical hit, and I will set that scene for you. Uh, D six <laughs> plus just my straight dex, right? Uh, b- 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 yeah. yeah, it's just my straight dex. Yeah, you are rolling. Um, you are rolling the damage. Uh, that's a six. It's a six, which makes it a uh, it makes it twelve damage. So yeah. So Col- uh, Colin, Colin, uh, Duster, you zoom, you zoom <laughs> forward uh, through through the blades of grass. Grass, I kind of want to make this almost ninja style, just to be just to be that <laughs> lame person. But you are you are zooming through the gla- the grass. You are withdrawing your scissor blade, and as you get to the roots, you do a cool like a really epic turn and Wait, a I slash. Can add a to it. What? Add a d6 to it. My hunter's mark. Oh shit! Yeah, oh, add the yeah. d6. Yeah. Another plus three. Three, so that's that's, that's, that's fifty damage. 50 damage, yeah. So fucking, you slash at this tree. You actually, what you do is you do a cool side, you do a cool side step, a twirl, and slash upwards towards one of the roots. And in an epic, sh- and like in an epic show of like light, like almost in an anime instance, you slice and there's a pause, and suddenly the root just flops to the ground as it is sliced clean off. And this, and you hear the tree go in pain, and its other roots start to wriggle. And branches curl even more as it wriggles in pain, and oh, it doesn't like that. Ow. Uh, Dusty's gonna point his sword and go, let her go. Roll intimidation. God, okay. <laughs> What is my intimidation? Go, Duster, go. Go, Duster, go. And do it at, and do it oh. at, a, I'm giving you advantage, because that was a nat fucking 20 to damage. That's, that's a 12. 13. That's a 12. The, uh, this, I'm gonna say this tree is definitely... <laughs> It's not gonna put. Call an assist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how does he intend to assist? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say go ahead because Collins already made himself very much a yeah. a threat yeah. to this tree. So I will say you can add an assist. Uh, how would that? I keep forgetting how that works. Um, that's a good question. That's actually a good question. Let me roll. Uh, I believe you make. I want to say you make a roll. Mock is typing something. Mock is typing something. We're in our Discord chat at the moment, folks. And oh, usually just gives advantage. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So that. Okay. So that basically it's like already used. Okay. Yeah. Never mind then. Okay. Yeah. Advantage has already been used. Oh well. I was worth a shot. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Yeah, it was worth a shot. This, this anyway, tree. Point is... Yeah. Point is it's Colin's turn anyway, I think, right? Yes. What would you like uh, to do, Colin? He wants to. Okay. If, uh, 
He's just gonna uh, shoot at. at he's just gonna shoot at its face, honestly. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Roll the hit, please. Because, uh, like, Ruby's on the other side, and also he doesn't want to. Like. He. He, he doesn't. Oh. oh my gosh. Indecisiveness. Wow. Um, pet, pet, pet. Yes. Uh, you know, he's gonna try to shoot Ruby down again, actually. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and, and uh, oh roll boy. to hit. So that is a 20 plus 6. And considering Dust is, like, right next to it and engaged, so uh, he would get a uh, bonus to... Uh, da, da, da. Oh, and alas! Alas, the tree has uh, Ruby. All oh, the cool rolls are gone. <laughs> yeah, Ru oh, I'm okay. so sorry. But hmm? oh no, he 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 had he would he would have had to like run around the tree to like get to Ruby. But like if he was standing still, he could have uh, used steady aim. You do have, you do still, you've used your, you've used your attack action, but you do, I will allow movement so you can get over there this turn. Oh, no, I mean, as in, like, if, uh, like, okay, okay, like, could he have tried to shoot Ruby down from where he was standing? It would, it wouldn't have been, uh, I'm, I'm basing this on how you've rolled and for the fact that the tree has, uh, has turned to face you. So, Ru so Ruby's cocoon is now, uh, now not in an easy line of sight. Okay, uh, that okay. If that's the case, then uh, like then he hasn't moved yet, so he can use steady aim. So next attack, he can have uh, advantage. Okay, I will. I will allow it. Uh, next up is Ruby slash Oliver. Uh, I thought it was the tree first. Oh no! Yeah, it is the tree. I, I yep. let me let me <laughs> let me pin let me pin uh, this order in the chat real quick. Here we go. Okay, it is the tree's turn, and the tree. Oh boy. The tree does not like getting uh having its roots uh sliced off or being shot at. I'm going to make a hit attempt at the little rat with its roots. Give me one moment. What is your hit? What is what's your hit thingy? There it is. Ten. Does that hit? No. Does uh, Duster, you are you are uh, these roots are trying to slam down on you, but you you are a small target and you are fast, so you are just weaving to and fro between these between these roots, and it looks really freaking cool. <laughs> the anime scene continues. The anime scene continues. <laughs> I'm sorry, Duster is having kind of an anime moment. Magic, I apologize. <laughs> totally unintentional. Totally un. No, yeah. It's a to yeah, totally unintentional. What are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> okay, now it is, uh, now it is uh, Ruby slash Oliver's turn. Okay, problem with Ruby being cocoon, she can't cast any gosh dang spells because her hands are all tied up. Oh uh, boy, her hands are not tied up. I I did say you do have wiggle room. However, I would like you to make an. Go ahead and make me a. Oh man, I can't decide you between. Strength roll before. Well, you can make a strength roll, but does Ruby know where she is? Ruby doesn't. Would Ruby does... like? I don't wait, wait, think can, she would. Can, would can she... Ruby like hear the commotion? I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah. The I've got, I'm not even gonna make you roll that. It's it's pretty obvious mm -hmm. that you can hear what's happening outside the cocoon. Okay. Okay. Colin is not quiet. <laughs> yeah, Colin is definitely not quiet. And neither is the flaming of the roots, I imagine. Nope. And the tree is still groaning in pain after having its roots sliced off and being shot okay. at, you know. So. so obviously the noises would be coming from down below, so Ruby can infer that she is up. <laughs> so what would Ruby like to do? She's like, get out of the cocoon, honestly. Just wiggle out. <laughs> Just want to try to do something to get out. She has... Hmm... Would you like to roll intel? I... Would you like to roll yeah, intelligence? I... I do want to roll intelligence. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. 18. So, uh, Ruby, you are in a you are in a uh, pitch black spot somewhere high up, 
but you have enough wiggle room to be able to move, to at least move your hands. Your feet are a little bit stuck since they were still tied up when you got pulled, uh, when you got pulled in. Uh, but you have you have okay. enough wiggle room, and uh, it look it's possible you are high up, so you'll need to be careful. But it is possible to use your magic while in here. Okay, rad. Well, Ruby doesn't have to be careful because she has Featherfall and she knows that. But uh, <laughs> she is gonna cast Primal Savagery again because that's a good one. <laughs> it's been working well so far. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and ro go ahead and uh, roll it for me. I'm rolling. Boop. Come on, dice parser. Dice parser. Load. Dice parser. Load. Ah, fourteen. Fourteen. Mm. Let me have a look at this thing's little thing. Yep, that freaking does it. You slice into the cocoon. Slice it, do the thing. <laughs> do the do the damage. Four, five, four. Do the damage. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> Seven. 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 That is not. That ain't. That ain't half bad. I believe it also does a bit more t with. Yes. Oh wait, no, it's. I have to pull it up again. Why did I close? Why did I close the freaking tab on Primal Savagery if I'm gonna forget it again? There. One moment. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay, Ruby. As you are stuck inside this uh, inside this cocoon, you you feel your you feel your hands become claws, your teeth become fangs as you and then you slash out at the at your at your prison and you manage to make a de uh, a decent size uh, uh with your two hands you manage to make decent size slash marks uh enough enough that you can start to see uh uh outside as light comes in now you can see the area uh below you the little garden uh it's not enough to get out but you can at least see okay red fantastic okay can she see Oliver? That's the important thing. I don't know. <gasps> uh, would you like to roll me perception? I would, cause oh boy. <laughs> cause I know since no, Oliver is just dang it. Oh, okay. You do not see. You do not see Oliver. That said, Oliver okay. still ha Oliver, I believe familiars can act as a bonus action if I'm not mistaken. Mhm. Mm so okay. We like as a bonus action, like Oliver can move around and do stuff. But, like, the problem is, I don't know if Ruby needs to see Oliver in order to cast magic through him, which she can do! It's pretty red! But, uh... Like, considering she doesn't know where Oliver is, I don't think she'd be able to get him to cast any spells. No, pro I'm, I'm gonna say, uh, if she can't see him, no, probably not. Yep. Oh, boy. Okay. I think, in that case, Oliver is, like, sticking close, but, like... Well, stick it close enough to be able to do something when he can do something, but like staying away from all the da all the things that are doing damage and whatnot, because he doesn't have a lot of hit points. <laughs> oh, he's just he's just doing a little nervous pacing. Yeah, I love this his little his little hoops clumps. Oh, I love I love I love this little pig, cute little pig. Uh, I think could actually I think Oliver could do the help action, maybe give somebody advantage. Uh, yeah. Who would you like to give either? Du well, it is about to be Duster's turn. Would you like to give it to Duster? Uh, Duster looks like Duster is doing fine, so I think. No, 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 Colin. To Colin. Colin already has advantage on his attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, he'll Duster. Be it is then. Yeah. <laughs> so Duster, we are we are bringing it back to you, buddy. How how you doing? You dodge you you sliced off a root. You you're dodging these other roots like like a professional. Yep. <laughs> Prune the tree. Prune, Prune the, the tree. tree. <laughs> got me. I'm gonna prune the tree. All right. <laughs> I got the scissors for it. <laughs> Duster's doing a little bit of light gardening. Little bit of ooh, light gardening. Dirty, ooh, dirty twenty. Twenty-two. Yeah, yeah. You, you hit. Yeah. That, that's a, that's is a hit, my dude. Plus another D six, uh, so ten damage. Uh, ten damage. Uh, I'm gonna say. Uh, oh, are you aiming for roots? Or are you aiming for tree? 
I am definitely aiming for roots because it's the very closest thing to me. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I am very small. And they are I trying to think that maybe Oliver grabs some with his teeth to like maybe make it so that Ru Duster could slash them better for the help action. Ooh for, fla <laughs> ooh, for flavor. I like it. I like it. So yeah, uh, with the, with the help with the help of your piggy fr friend uh, Duster, you managed to make uh, another uh, another good sizable slice. Uh, it doesn't quite cut through. This is a bit of a of a bigger root, so it doesn't quite cut all the way through. But definite, but definitely cuts, and it definitely hurts, and. The tree groans again. Uh, Wonderful. Is there anything else you would like to do on your turn? I can't really do anything else on my turn. All right, then. Hey, Colin. Uh, yes, Colin. Colin has uh, advantage now. Steady aim. Yay. So that is d20 plus 6. Try that once. Nice. Um, yeah. That's nice. And... <laughs> so that's a D eight plus four. Uh, D eight plus four. And then that's another uh D six. Oh, let me. Yes, that's. Yeah, that's another one D six. So D eight plus four. Okay. And these. All right, and you're oh, aiming for. Oh, uh, this. Uh, I think was it wasn't he shooting Ruby down from the. the yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just gonna keep doing that. Okay, uh, plus six. Uh, six isn't quite a lot. Six isn't a lot, but you definitely. I mean, you definitely hit, and Ruby, you can actually hear the thunk of. And you can and you can see just above just above your head the the fe the the feathered notch of the arrow that has just sunk its way into the into the vines that are holding this cocoon up, uh, and you and you hear a little a tiny little rip sound and uh, and the cocoon Boy. buckles a little bit under you, <laughs> but it manages. That Ruby is preparing featherfall. Ruby is preparing featherfall. But it 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 manages to <laughs> hang on for this turn. Okay, that's oh great. <laughs> oh boy. However, the tree is uh, the tree is um. Where's your where's your there it is. I have to like hop, hop between tabs. Well, I can't imagine the tree is happy. <laughs> the tree is is not happy. Who's the tree? Colin's got uh, Colin's gonna prepare another steady aim, and uh, he's gonna. Uh, aim at uh, the cocoon again, unless someone has something to say about it. Uh, the the tree might have had something to say about it if it weren't currently. Oh, I mean, as in like Oliver, considering like well, Oliver's got a oh, real. Oliver in knows. Mouth. Oliver knows Ruby has feather false, so he knows Ruby's okay. gonna be fine. <laughs> okay. And Oliver also has a root in his mouth after helping a certain little rat slice at it, which the <laughs> tree doesn't. Isn't quite into. Hey, uh, Abby, what is what is um? Oh no. What is Oliver's oh, AC? No. Oh no. It's a nineteen. Uh, not very high. <laughs> well, considering his AC is ten, I'm pretty sure that hit. <laughs> All right, just gonna. Uh, yeah, Oliver, you don't. Oliver doesn't manage to hold on to the, oh, to boy. let go of the root in time for it to raise up. And to slam him back down into the ground. And would Oliver take eight damage, please? Okay. Guess what? Oliver poofs out of existence. Oh! He oh, no. And he is gone. <laughs> oh! Oh! He's dead! He's dead! He's not dead! He can be resummoned, but uh. Oh, it looks like Colin, he's dead. Doesn't, Colin doesn't know that. Duster yeah. doesn't know this. Ruby knows that, but she can't talk. <laughs> yeah, so the the two people who don't know don't know this uh, uh, have just watched in abject horror as their piggy friend has just has just poofed in a puff of smoke and is gone. Oh boy! Oh boy! Uh, but now I believe and. And as and as the tree looks at the at the dissipating smoke, its gaze slowly turns to you, Duster. But that is the end of its turn, and I be and I believe it is now Ruby's. 
Ruby's turn. Ruby's turn. Ruby's turn. Okay, yes. she wants. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Oh uh, yeah, Ruby's turn. Yes, Ruby goes after the plant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, uh, from where she, hmm. You know, what? I'm just gonna go with the same thing I've been doing this whole time and just do primal savagery to get out of the gosh dang cocoon. How many of those do you she have? It's a cantrip, my man. Oh, it's a cantrip. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just like, man, she should be out of like, she should be out of spell slots for that now. No, it's a cantrip. Okay, yeah. Cantrip. You have it for a cantrip. Yeah, damn. Roll the hit. Nineteen. 19. That does it. Roll me uh, damn. Roll me a damage. 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 <laughs> Nine, nine damage. You managed to make a uh, uh, more, yeah. You, you, you are thrashing around in this in this cocoon, cocoon, making it swing back and forth as you are as you are uh, slowly but surely ripping through the uh, tearing through the leafy the the thick leafy uh, surface. Uh, but then, as you do that, you hear <laughs> you <laughs> uh, you feel that buckling beneath your feet again, and you hear. Rip. And suddenly you're falling. Yep. Reaction feather fall. <laughs> yeah, make a strength for me. Make a strength check for me. Oh, a strength? Because you are still okay. in the cocoon. And you have to hold... Oh, boy. You are feather falling, but the cocoon is not. Oh, that's true. Oh, boy. Six. Six. <laughs> you... You, it, Ruby. you... You manage to... You cast feather fall, and for a brief moment, you think, ah, yes, I'm fine, but suddenly you're like, oh, oh no. You're suddenly... You suddenly have oh, the, the roof of this cocoon suddenly smooshing your face, and you're going, oh, no, 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 and poof, you fall on the... You fall on the ground, oh, but no. luckily you are in a cocoon, so it's not terrible, but you still get... You still get tossed around a little bit, so I would like you to take 1d6 of... of the falling damage. Oh boy, do you want me to roll that or you to? Uh, it's, uh I can, I can, I can roll. I can roll. I can roll. Okay. <laughs> One, two, six. Take two damage, please. Two damage. Two damage. All right. Two damage. Two damage. <laughs> Take the damage. Okay, Ruby's on the ground. <laughs> Ruby's on. Ruby has. Uh, Ruby has. The Ruby has landed. The Ruby has landed. Ruby has landed. All right, so we are back up front to see Duster. Duster. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Um, you got a you got an angry tree looking down on down at you directly at you. Oh uh, boy. Duster. Duster has a lot of feelings right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a very large tree. Mm -hmm. Noting it's four times Colin size and Duster is eight inches tall. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, um, Oliver is when he can only presume to be dead. Uh, he doesn't have time to process this, though. He'll process it later, like the rest of his life. Uh, he's just gonna swing oh. at it again. Oh, oh, oh buddy. Oh, no. Oh, Duster. Oh, no. Remind me to to get this rat some therapy. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> uh, roll, roll, roll to hit. I oh, did. It, oh, that succeed. Yeah, that does that does it. Roll damage, please. You continue. You continue in guard. Hold on, wait. I'll, I'll wait for you to roll damage. Five. Okay. Uh, you can. Uh, seven. Seven. Yeah. You can. You continue to guard. You continue your gardening mission as if. Because if nothing is wrong, you did not just watch your pig friend just die in front of you. Okay, this is perfectly fine. As you slash upwards, oh, and boy. the and the root that Oliver had had helped you hit to begin with is slashed through and falls to the ground, and the tree wriggles again like in pain, and it actually starts to try and it reels back even more into its little corner. It can't really get far. So I'm not counting it as movement, but it's flavor. Cool. Yeah. Colin. Colin. Uh, Colin just kind of shrieks, You gotta jump, my friend! <laughs> and, uh, he's gonna shoot at its face. And he has advantage. And the Dice pass is gonna... 18. Okay. That yes. does it. And I'm sorry, shooting what? He's shooting what? 
the, the tree's face. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Peace was never an option. <laughs> Peace was never an option. <laughs> and what's that? I keep forgetting. That is... uh, sneak attack? D6, I think. Yeah. Yeah, sneak attack is a D6. Uh, yes. 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 <laughs> Why? Nice max damage. <laughs> six. Ow. Ow. Love to see it. Ow. Uh, six, I'm gonna. S eight. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. 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 And with an eighteen, I'm gonna say that arrow hits it right in the eye. Wait, eighteen? Yeah, there's an eighteen right there. Oh, uh, uh, rolled... yes. No, I thought it was damage. No, so... no, 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 no. You rolled eighteen to hit, and then you've got the yeah. eight plus six, so that's a fourteen to damage. I think so much better at doing fast math in my head. I feel I feel proud of myself. Uh, anyways. Yes, good. <laughs> anyways, this tree uh, has just been shot in the eye, and ow, that hurts. Doesn't say that, but you you that's the that's the that's the feeling you get as it as it's as it groans, almost screams, and it reels back, and it's going to use its act, and it is going to use uh its move to to try and uh to move back more into its corner and curl up. Uh, into a more defensive position. Do I get an attack of opportunity? Or... <laughs> <sighs> yes. By the rules of D&D, <laughs> yes. But this... This tree is attempting to move away. <laughs> Eight does not do it. Uh, it, it, it is using its roots to... to to make a, a little barrier in front of itself, so uh, you can't quite get to it. Mm. Uh, but that is all. But it is it is uh, not going to attack for for its move. It is just going to curl up into a little ball and cry. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is cur it's not into a, not into a ball, but it is curling up. Uh, mm. And Ruby, it is now your turn. Ugh. Ruby. Is like getting all the vines off of herself and like standing up. Yep. Ruby does not care for this tree. Oh dear. Ruby does not care for this tree. I noticed. I, I noticed. Mhm. Mm I think she's just gonna pick up a little white rock off of the ground and she's gonna use it as the fancy little component for the spell Snillock Snowball Swarm. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Would you, would, would you kindly, for myself and for the audience, explain that spell for me? Okay. A flurry of magic snowballs erupts from a point you choose within range. Each creature in a five-foot radius sphere centered on, the, on that point must make a dexterity saving throw. A creature takes 3d6 cold damage on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful one. So, <laughs> magic snowball. <laughs> Ruby has it. <laughs> So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make a dex save. Dex save with the tree. <laughs> okay, what's, what's the, hey tree, what's your dex? Oh, not great. <laughs> oh, where am I, go? wait, what, what am I doing? No, it's not this. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, numbers. Okay, here we go. Thirteen, uh, hey, does that do it? Does that save That us? does not do it. Nope. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, how much damage am I taking? Uh, 3d6. Let me roll that real quick. Oh boy. Oh boy. 17! 17! Yeah. Yeah, Ruby, you stand- you- you- are ripping these things off you- off you like a- like a- like a dog getting out of its cage- like a mad dog getting it out of its cage. You stand up look enraged at this tree. You look at this- you see the stone, I and mean, it's a little garden, so there's definitely plenty of stones for you to pick from. Uh, but you pick the the most nude, uh, the most the sharper, more damaging looking one, and pick it up, and God, us, man. Like I imagine how like the magic looks. It like the stone lazily arcs into the air, turns into a snowball, and then suddenly it's many snowballs. <laughs> okay, yeah, you toss this thing into the air, and for a brief moment, it's just there's just this brief moment of silence before suddenly. Bing! A giant snowball almost eclipses the the crack in the ceiling 
sun and there is <laughs> it blocks the sunlight and suddenly in another thing suddenly multiple snowballs have have broken off from it and are just and start raining down on this tree <laughs> just one after the other pelting down and mercilessly and with a 17 of damage this tree uh you do not see the tree you just see a pile of snow by the end of it and nothing is moving okay. and congratulations oh uh you have you have just won this battle with the awakened tree Okay, Red. Okay, Ruby is taking a deep breath. And she's sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame her. <laughs> that was very scary. <laughs> how, how, uh, Duster, Colin, how you doing, buddies? Colin is gonna run over to Ruby and he's like, hug me. Oh. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> Ruby! Aww! Oh, that's actually really oh. soft. That's really soft. Gosh. I think, like, Ruby, like, looks at Colin in surprise before she picks him up and just... holds him. <laughs> Hold the Colin. Hold the burb. <laughs> she doesn't like hugs, but you make- but you gotta make exception for this polite bird. Yeah. <laughs> the room before she signs to Duster, like, uh, just Oliver's name. Uh, Duster is unresponsive. He's still holding his sword and staring at the tree. Oh, the tree is, is, Gosh. is not moving. It is, it is buried under, under the snowballs. Oh, the vegetation got him. Oh, I was, I was about to say, should I make a roll to see if Ruby can connect the dots? But then Colin explained it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Colin. <laughs> I think, like, Ruby, like, just, like, thinks about it a bit before she nods in understanding, and, uh, <laughs> huh, she starts looking around the room for her picnic basket, because I doubt she would still be holding it after being dragged off by the fire. <laughs> oh, yeah, her picnic basket. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it's in the room, unless Colin picked oh, it up yeah. in the hallway. It's probably still uh, in the in the hallway. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Colin picked it up. Yeah, just so too small to pick it up. Especially considering it's like half his size, probably. Would you? Dang, that has her sketch. That not her sketch. Her spell book in it. So. <laughs> 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 Cannot do ritual casting. Okay. Not at the moment. I mean, you could go. I mean, you could go back back in the hallway and get it. You just would have to know it's there. Yeah, I think, but I think the first thing Ruby's gonna do is she's gonna, like, notice Duster's not doing okay, and she's gonna head over to Duster's side. Uh, is, is Col- does she- what, what does she do with Colin? Does she, like, set him aside, or does she, like, pick she's, him up? She is still- she is still carrying the burb. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> and, like, she waves to get Duster's attention. Uh, uh, and like, I think like Ruby's like trying to explain, <laughs> like, okay, it's okay, it's okay. He's a familiar. I can, I can, I can cast a spell and bring him back. Give me a second. I need to find my spell book. <laughs> uh, 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 hi, uh, books. Uh, uh, I, I don't know how spells work. Uh. Yeah, I think Er pauses and, like, very carefully sets Colin down before asking if Duster's okay. Uh, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Insight. I'm insight. <laughs> Pretty sure insight's not a great role for you. Yeah, it's not. She's a kid. 
she has low wisdom. It's 13. 13. Does, does that, that do it? Does that do maybe? it? Does, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to leave that to magic since it is her character you are rolling insight on. Uh, dust, dusters. Still processing some things. Aww. He's very small. He has no money. Aww. <laughs> I think, like, Ruby thinks for a second before she very carefully offers out her hand to, like, as an offer of, hey, I can hold you if you want. Uh, sure. And, like, Duster just climbs on. Okay. She is holding Duster very close. Little hug. Aww. <laughs> Little hug. Little hug. <laughs> I think now it's when you start to hear... The familiar, uh, uh, tap, tap, talk of Antler's footstep and staff. Uh, mm -hmm. you hear it through one of the walls, uh, in this little, in this little garden area. And you hear a, uh, you hear a very, uh, I want to say jovial is the right word? Uh, a very jovial <laughs> voice, uh, speaking through the, through the cracks of the wall as well. Oh, I'll be, you were not kidding when you said this place was a bit of a work. Was it? Oh, jeez, that man! Look at all this. You got pools in the ground. Oh, is that a spike trap? Well, ain't that just nifty? Can you fix? Can you fix it or not? Well, sure, sure. Just give me a moment. I gotta take a look. See now, don't I? Give me. Oh, let's see. Now let's have a look at this wall over here. Now this ain't looking too good. Now, I mean, look, you got cracks in the wall. I mean, I could probably give this a little tap, and it'll just. And you hear a little. You hear a little. <laughs> And suddenly, the wall crumbles to the ground, and you see standing there is Antler and a, and a, uh, at half his height, a little, uh, Frank and Alley tune, uh, with a straw hat, uh, looking, looking rather surprised, like, before turning to Antler and go, you see? Per terrible structure, this place, this place could fall in any minute. How long did you say you were living here? About a week now. A week! A week and you managed not to get yourself caved in? Well, I'll be, I'll just be tired. Oh, well, hello there. What by... Who are, you, who, Hi, who are all these things? are gardening. A gardening? Oh, that's lovely. May want to save the garden. Oh, man. Yeah, I could see gardening say, a little bit. Ruby doesn't care. She's going and looking for her spell book. Okay. <laughs> She just ignores him completely and just, like, kind of tucks Duster into her coat. <laughs> Collins Dust. just... Help him Collins hide. Just, <laughs> Collins is just kind of sitting there. Just like... Adla, boss, can... can uh, next time, can we have some shears? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, she's just what you needed. Oh, dang it. I just would have, I would have asked my, I would have asked my friend Claire. She's a farmer, you see, so she has all sorts of shears for this sort, sort of thing, but, huh, there's a bit of, see, you had a bit of snow up here, here as well with that rain. I didn't think it was that cold up here. Anyway, anyway, and, uh, as, as the, as this, as this random tune, uh, walks further in to have a look at the place, he gives Colin a little pat on the head, uh, as he goes and starts, <laughs> and starts, uh, <laughs> It starts looking around. Uh, Antler also follows in and looks around the room very quietly and then looks at Colin. Did you know there's a trap door? <laughs> Where? <And> also... <laughs> it's activated by books. It's pretty nifty. And also, you're probably good. Gonna... <laughs> uh, there's not a lot of furniture. Are you going to get furniture? You're probably going to need furniture. <laughs> I want the, now one of the sound name is furniture. I ain't heard of that before. Are you saying furniture? furniture. Oh, furniture. Oh, furniture. What, oh. I don't know what happened when I said that. <laughs> but also, to be honest, Colin is also a bit shaken. He's, he's had a day. I can imagine. Antler doesn't say anything. I think Antler's still kind of like quietly, like, trying to, to <laughs> put together what's happened while he was gone. Uh, if it's currently, he's guessing that nothing that he asked them to do has actually been fully done, because he just sees a pile <laughs> of snow 
in the corner. Uh, I mean. <laughs> Uh, Ruby, you have you have basically left and gone back down the hallway uh, to retrieve your yeah. to retrieve your basket. I'm gonna say you don't you find it uh, you find it back uh, by the ladder where the trap door was. Yes, good. Okay, Ruby immediately picks that up and goes for her spell book, make sure it's okay, and she's gonna oh, let sorry, the low sorry, sorry. <laughs> huh? Uh, sorry, I just, uh, considering, uh, like, Colin, like, had, like, suggestion on him, he's just gonna spill all the questions he had on his mind. Uh, uh. one of which is, uh, <laughs> uh, to, like, he's, he's still, like, shaken, but also it's like, hey, questions are a thing, like, I wanted to do anyway. Oh my God. And, uh, like... It's something else to think about. And he's like, <laughs> Did you like the umbrella? I, I didn't know what your favorite color was. What's your favorite color? <laughs> Antler stares at you, Colin, just goes, What umbrella? <laughs> the, um, I, I put an umbrella on the uh, throne so it wouldn't get rained on. Antler, Antler slowly starts to turn around and heads down the hallway to the throne room to see what you're talking about. To see what you're, and uh, he sees what you're talking about, and the moment he sees it, says nothing, there's no reaction. What do you got? What do you got, Antler? Cool, okay, uh, Antler is just going to do a little... I just realized I don't actually have a fire spell for him, but you know what? This is gonna work just fine. This one will work just fine. <laughs> give, me one, give me one moment, and then he just... Rolling hits a seven. Okay, let me just... Uh, I'll, I'll let, if you didn't follow him, you suddenly hear a boom in the in the throne room. One more sec. Uh, then you hear another boom in the throne. You hear two consecutive booms in the throne room as as Antler has just casted uh, Eldritch Blast on this umbrella and decim. Uh, he missed the first time, but the second time absolutely decimated this umbrella that's been placed over his throne. Uh, the the Franken Alley tune who um who is just slowly making his way around the place, going going ma seems seems to be quite the firecracker, your boss. Is he your boss? Um, Is he your well, dad? I actually don't. <laughs> this felt. This felt. This felt. Because let me tell you, he can He can He just walked right into town, all spooky like, saying he needed someone to help him with his with a building project. And I thought, well, well, dang, that just sounds right fun. So I thought I'd come at least have a look at it. But man, now that I'm looking at it, this is gonna. This is gonna. You're gonna need an army to fix this up, or heck, at least a lot of moolah to fix it. Well, uh, Colin's just kind of <laughs> shrugged because, like, it's not actually, like, it's not his place, so it's not really his problem. It's okay, he's not really waiting, for th this Frank and Alley isn't really waiting for you to answer, um. Uh, also, I am going to, like, roll insight to see if, because, like, Colin did not, like, follow Atlas, so I'm just gonna roll insight to see, like, if Colin realizes uh, what exactly Adler's blowing up up there. Yep, that's fine. That's a 17. 17. <laughs> 17, yeah, okay. yeah. You get an idea of what's happening. Though, also, as you're looking at this Frank and Alley tune, um, uh, well, you, you've just, you are able to catch this because you've just had to experience it a moment ago. Uh, but you're looking at this Frank and Alley tune, and suddenly you have the, you see the look in his eyes. He looks very friendly, but his eyes have a bit of sparkling around them. It's very possible Antler has, has uh, used suggestion on this fella as well. <laughs> oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious, because I was thinking about Ruby's pocket watch. Anyway! <laughs> Sorry, what's, what's, what's Ruby up to now? Yeah, what is Ruby doing now that... 
Ruby's kind of on a one-track mind to get her little pig friend back, so... <laughs> she's just getting her spellbook, finding a nice, dry place in the garden, and she is going to ritual cast Find Familiar. Uh, how okay. That's like five minutes, right? No, it takes an hour. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna say, okay then, in that case, I'm gonna do a little, uh, if, if no one else wants to do something, I'm gonna have a little bit of a montage mode here. Also, really quick, really quick, hmm. uh, next, next time Colin sees Andler, which probably is pretty soon, yeah. he's just gonna be like, okay, so, uh, I'm guessing you didn't like, uh, purple or orange, uh, what about pink? Antler just walks straight past Colin and doesn't answer. <laughs> or blue? As it, it continues walking in silence as he uh, as he looks at the new stairway that has been uh, revealed, and he goes up that to. to... So uh, the, so the next hour that takes place, the Frank and Ellie tune is is walking around. Uh, you just hear and uh, from any from anywhere inside the ruins that any of you are, you just hear this Frank and Ellie just continuously talking, just happily chattering to himself. He's taking down notes, he's taking measurements, uh, and doing. All stuff, whatever it is that Antler has suggested that this tune do to help with the to help with renovations. <laughs> uh, Antler, in the meanwhile, is walking around the new spaces that you guys have uh, you guys have opened up, uh, and his final place ends up being back in the garden. Uh, by the time the hour is up, uh, he is back in the garden, uh, staring at the at the melt at the snow that is now slowly melting and showing the 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 dead tree underneath. Uh, and then he looks over at Ruby, which I imagine this will be near the end of your ritual casting for Find Familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ruby, like, uh, has been, like, busy with the whole ritual casting thing, and, uh, when she finally finishes, she just gives a little snap of her fingers, and then, pop, right in front of her, appears Oliver. He is okay. <laughs> you survived! <laughs> Carl's just gonna like run over to Oliver and tackle hug. Aww. <laughs> Oliver lets out a very pig like squeal and surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just oh good oh goodness. Uh what happened? Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, Duster is going to peek in. Got you. Duster is going to like shoot up out of Ruby's jacket and Joe. And just like stare at Oliver. Uh, hi. Um, oh boy. Uh, I thought you were dead. Ah, uh, funny thing about familiars, we can't die. We can just get sent back to original plane of existence. Goodness gracious, what happened? And he looks at the dead tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, you certainly did a number on that thing. And like Oliver, very pointedly, walks up to the tree and gives it a kick with one of his hooves. <laughs> Antler <is> very rude. <laughs> Antler is 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 watching this the entire time, and this is the most uh, brave he's ever seen this pig be. <laughs> so if, if honestly, that reminds me, I think like it takes a little bit for Oliver to process that Antler's even there. <laughs> At the moment he realizes, he's just like, okay, time to go back behind Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks up at Antler, turns around, and there's just little hoof trots as he goes behind, <laughs> behind his wizard. <laughs> Antler, just, Antler just stares, before finally taking a breath. Well, it seems you three have had a rather, mm, rather invigorating day. Gosh, Ruby immediately finds you think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before he he continues, the uh, the Frank and Allie tune suddenly walk walks in with a with a little sheet of paper. All right, all right, boss, I got I got your nice little list here of all the of all the essentials you will be needing for this place. Again, though, I don't imagine how you're going to be fi fixing this within the next millennia with just I thought one, two, three, four. That's the four of you, five. I don't know if that pig can hold little two. I don't know if that pig can hold little. Little uh, tools, though. Gosh, that'd be so cute to have. Let's imagine him in a little hard hat. Little tools. <laughs> hey, well, anyway, here's your, here's your here's your list. I, I did little I did little calculations for you for you just in case just in case you need it. Uh, 
Uh, we got plenty of more building folk back in town, but they're gonna be a bit bit, but they're gonna be a bit busy for the next for for the next couple of weeks. We we got a festival coming in, and it's a whole trade and thing. It's gotta be. Oh, you you all should come on down. It'll be it'll be quite some time, time. Maybe, and maybe hey, maybe you'll be able to find someone to maybe find more people to help you out. I'd be glad to do it. I just it's been bit it's gotta be a bit busy with the. Festival? I say festival, I say carnival. I can't quite remember the words I'd say. Saying, I'm just so happy to be here. Yes, thank, yes, thank you for your assistance. You may leave now. And you all watch as this Frankinelli tune blinks a couple times and the sparkles around his eyes suddenly, suddenly, boop. They suddenly just, boop. And this Frankinelli <laughs> tilts his head back a little bit like, ugh. And blinks a good couple times before looking around it and... Looking around, looking at you, looking at Antler. Well, shucks, thanks for inviting me by. Oh, gosh, this is just <laughs> such a grand old time. Tom, thank, thank you for inviting me. Well, anyways, I'll be seeing you. And uh, without without missing a, with, with a skip in his step, the Frankinelli tune skips on out, out of the ruins. Uh, while Antler continues to look at the, at the piece of paper uh, that has been handed to him. And uh, go ahead, and I would, uh, you can all roll inside if you'd like. I was also gonna say you could also roll insight on Ruby eventually, but first we'll do this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me let me do this bit for story stuff because we're at the two hour mark. We're just about to end. Oh boy, Ruby got a nine. <laughs> Colin, Colin, wow. Colin. We're gonna roll for Oliver too since he's here. <laughs> yeah. Nineteen. Oh! Colin, uh, Colin, and all, to... Colin and Oliver. You see Antler staring down at this piece of paper, and it's, and it's not. He's not pleased. He's not pissed. He's just not super jazzed about about what he's about the the number uh, in terms of cost that he's looking at here. Oliver kind of winces and and he goes, "How much is that going to cost?" More than we currently possess, unfortunately. Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> it appears. Okay, does anyone want to roll inside on Ruby real quick? Uh, yeah. yeah. Just really fast. <laughs> Antler, what's your insight? There's your insight. <laughs> 24! <laughs> not 20 on oh, Antler! <laughs> okay! Hey! Uh, the little Frank and Ollie tune mentioned a festival. And, like, Antler, you take one look at this child uh, child's eyes and you see just the excited glint of, Oh, I know how we can get money. We can do crimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ruth... <laughs> Ruby, you failed. You failed your insight. You failed your insight. But uh, for for Col uh, for for <laughs> Colin and Oliver, you you see uh, you don't really see a look on Antler's face because you can't see his face. But you get the idea with the way he tilts his head that he's getting the exact same idea. Amazing. <laughs> Colin just thinks Ruby's just excited for the potential for like potential of going to the festival. Yeah, Ant Antler still doesn't understand money. <laughs> yeah, Ant Antler, Antler looks at Colin for a second before uh, before considering his words, and then, hmm. well, it, our work is far from done, but perhaps there is a way to make this a bit easier on ourselves. For now, hmm. we will need to plan for that. However, for now, and Antler looks over at the at the the dead tree. What's this but? Let's burn this away. I have no interest in having a rot, a rotting wood corpse in here. Ruby immediately perks up and casts Firebolt. <laughs> <laughs> you're just, you're just, you're just casting it then and there. Yep, <laughs> right at the dead tree. <laughs> just have this book. Catch thing on fire, and she's going. <laughs> Antler just stares quietly. Goes. Mm. Yes, that will work. Uh, uh, then he will walk out of th of the room as uh, as Ruby, your firebolt, not only catches this wooden tree on fire, but the rest of the plantation vegetation in this room as well starts to oh, wait, starts no, to catch no. fire. <laughs> and it's ah, uh, it appears I have miscalculated. <laughs> yep, yep. And uh, Antler, as he's exiting the room, calls behind him. You may wish to exit if you do not wish to burn up as well. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Ruby's basically just 
picking up everyone and doodling back out of the room. Yep, yep. I, I'm gonna say, uh, it takes about, mm, probably takes about an hour or so before before the fire settles down as, uh, as all the vines, uh, of this thing had to come into this particular area. There's not really much else, uh, there's no more vines within the castle to, uh, for the fire to spread out in. So eventually the fire just does burn this entire little secret garden to a crisp, and there's nothing but ash. And still the little fa- I am so sorry. I know how pretty it was. I am so sorry. And the little fountain, uh, it, but the little fountain is still, um, is still, uh, is still, uh, running, running, uh, however, uh, however, uh, hour passes, it's nothing but it's smoldering, smoldering, but beneath, but beneath the ash and falling from, uh, falling from above where vines used to hang, little seeds have fall have nestled into the ash. If anyone knows how forests works, that even after burning, forests and plants are still able to, to grow back in places that ah, have burned. Good. So Dusty didn't have to do any real gardening. No, you're fine. <laughs> no, you're fine. But the next, but so the next, so uh, we could do this more in. Uh, we will do planning for the next game, in the game after this. But I will do another little montage of just how of of things that'll happen in between this and the next game. Blah 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 blah. Um, uh, Ruby, you continue to do your exploring of. Of uh, the ruined all ruins, and you managed to increase. You managed to. Uh, uh, Antler has no longer allowed you into his room. <laughs> he has he has closed he has closed it off to you, so you are not allowed in there anymore. Uh, Dang, she was gonna sneak in there, but <laughs> not too bad. You're forbidden. Uh, too bad. <laughs> but you do. Uh, I'm not gonna show. I'm not gonna show the map here, but you managed to to. You manage to find a little in the main hallway coming from the throne room. You see, uh, now that the vines have, uh, now that the vines are gone, you see a little hole in the wall, just enough, just enough of a crawl space for you to fit in. Oh, Ruby is delighted when she makes this discovery, and tells no one. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Ruby. As as yeah, as you crawl in, uh, you definitely need a bit of light uh, to see in here, but uh, you. But it is you found a little, a a little a little nook, a little nook, a little secret room, uh, off off the hallway, and it is just the right size for you and Oliver to fit in, and there are plenty of holes and and there are plenty of little holes in the walls for even Duster to make a little, to make a little bed for himself. <laughs> yes, good. <laughs> As for Colin, uh, each time you try and put another umbrella, uh, on the throne, uh, you turn, you turn one moment, hear a boom, turn back, and it, the umbrella is once again burned in its place. I like to think that Ruby seeing this eventually offers, hey, why don't you try making it red? <laughs> like, through all of her talking to Colin. <laughs> he, he, he will try. She is enabling the bird. <laughs> <laughs> you you place the 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 red umbrella on top of the throne, and uh, uh, some time passes and you don't hear a boom. Oh. And then and then you know day passes and then you hear a boom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining at some point at some point, uh, Colin just gets like an umbrella with like bullseyes on it. <laughs> That that lasts for a very short time, but with but with that said, congratulations, you guys! You have made it to the end of uh, Ruined All Rambles episode two renovations. That's you hard. did it! We're done. You did it! Woo Yay! Bye. Uh, join us next time for Ruined All Rambles Ruined All Rambles episode three festival. <laughs> The festival. The festival. Oh, boy. The festival. The festival. The festival. going to the festival. The festival. The feel. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Thank you all again for listening, and we hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.